everyone. Thank you for joining us. My name is Lindsay Dutro. I'm an Extension Master Gardener here at the Allen County Extension Office here in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Um, we're here today at the Extension. We're actually in the Ornamental Grasses Garden and I'm going to be showing you how to do something pretty cool with this mating grass. So this is a typical mating grass. This is called Morning Light, Macanthus cincinnatus. Cincinnatus maybe um, but made in grass either way and what we're gonna do instead of our typical staking up where we put the stakes behind the grass and we just kind of tie it up with twine we're actually gonna be braiding this grass so I'll show you to come in close I'll give you a step-by-step -step instruction on how to do this um, if you come under here we're actually gonna just do it one time around with the braid so it's gonna be your typical braid um, just three braids and you're going to be coming in and I'll show you step by step of how to do that but it's very close to if you've ever braided hair before but for those of us who haven't um, maybe you didn't have any sisters uh, just to show you where we're going to start see right down here where it just begins to get tall and then fall over we're actually going to start right where that those lower leaves start so it doesn't have as much thickness so um when we start here, it just gives us more support when we go around. A few things that you need when you're doing this. You don't want to do this since it is a grass. You don't want to do it with your just bare hands. You're going to get cut up. So if you do have an old sweater, put this on. And then some gauntlets. So some leather gauntlets are good. It protects your arms and your hands and everything like that. So we'll get started. I usually like to do this, I don't know if it helps or not, but after a good rain, it seems like the leaves are more pliable. Um, so let me get changed um, and show you how to do this. Okay, much better. So let's get in close and let me just show you how I start off. Um, typically you just want to, again, start probably where people don't really see it, so kind of to the side a little bit. Um, and you're going to grab a huge chunk. So if I get you in here close I'll show you how I start I'm gonna start probably about a foot and a half up so right where the first leaves start to fall over is where you want to start your braid um, to do that you just grab a pretty decent size I say fistful so you're not gonna braid the whole thing you're just gonna braid the outside kind of make it its own pot um, to show you what I'm doing I'll put a video or just a photo up now um, and you'll see how someone else on YouTube went through and they kind of just went around once so it supports itself. Um, and this is what you do if you want to like have a more natural look. Um, maybe you don't have stakes, maybe you don't like the look of stakes. Um, luckily here in the grasses garden, all of our grasses are either against the building or they're against this black fence behind me. So that helps to hide stakes or you can stake to the fence or stuff like that. But if you have grasses up against your house, maybe, um, and they don't have any real support and they just kind of fall over like this one. Braiding is a really good technique to use. Um, it looks really cool. There's kind of an art element to it. It's actually really fun and easy to do. Just a lot of the videos that you see on YouTube, it doesn't really show you step by step. So that's what we're doing here. So I have a pretty good fistful of the grass right here. Um, and I'm just going to make sure that it's not connected to anything behind it. So it's just kind of like on the outside, good fistful. And you actually need three of these. So you kind of go to the left. So I'm going to go left and then go kind of clockwise around. So you're just going to grab another fistful. And what I was always taught when you're braiding hair is if you're doing the three braid method, over, under, over, under, once the braid is pointing upwards, that's when you add additional hair, or in this case, additional grass. So I'll show you that and I'll actually put um, maybe a video or maybe just some images up just so you can see what I'm talking about when I say over, under, over, under. Very similar to like a, just a regular French braid when you're adding additional hair and then, yeah. So I'll show that too. But what you're doing is you're grabbing the hair or grass. Um, I'm gonna grab three bunches. So me usually like even is what I'm going for. So this is my one bunch of grass. You're going to go next to it for another bunch of grass. And you just kind of keep them separate just with these two fingers. 
and then I'm going to do my third bunch of grass. So again, not very large, um, just kind of like a fistful. Very carefully. So there's my three bunches of grass. So you're just going to do like a typical braid over one. And then the first one's pretty hard, but once you have it going over, under, over. You see, it's already starting to shape. So I have them separated over, under, over, and you'll do it again. And then I like to just do it one time before I add additional so over, under, over, and you can see it's already beginning to form. It's gonna wanna push up, but you wanna keep it horizontal. You wanna go this way when you're adding grass because you don't wanna all of a sudden just have a straight braid going up because it's gonna be like hair because it's upside down. You wanna go around. So make sure you're level. Maybe this is good to have a friend with you, uh, but you wanna keep it horizontal. So when you're adding hair, go with the horizon, not up and down, but yeah, um, I'll keep adding just what I'm doing here. I'll put a link to that other video. They don't have any words or anything to show you, but I'll just show you. It's just like a regular braid. We'll come back and we'll clip these little stragglers or baby hairs. But yeah, when you're adding, see how this one that I have right here is going up? This is when you grab hair behind or grass behind. Again, I'm doing another little clump. I'm gonna pull it forward and I'm gonna add it to the one that's kind of free and going up. So that's how you add to it. And again, you're gonna really try to focus on going to the horizon since this is really gonna wanna push you up. So braided, I have the braid right here. This braid that's on top is gonna go behind and see how this braid is now free. I'm gonna come up here, braid it this way. And it's a lot easier when you actually have your hands on it and then doing it yourself, to be able to see what I'm talking about. Again, we have one pointed up that doesn't have hair. We're just gonna add it. And then see it's already beginning to shape. Again, focus on going this way, not up. And it smells amazing if that helps. So it's going to smell like grass. Up. Again, you have your three clumps. And then you just over, under, up. And cut the video here and just show you the end of what it looks like. Okay, so I took some of the flyaways in and around so I kind of just if you see these right here I they're loose so I just kind of wrapped them around and I just tucked them up and then pulled them up above the braid so put them up and I just kind of grabbed them up above and pulled them up and around the braid so it kind of looks nicer so like up and around so when I release this it'll just kind of fall but I want to show you how strong this is. It's, it's not going anywhere. It's pretty thick. I actually tied it to the back there. So that's the end of the tail. So I actually tied it to the zip tied to the railing and it's it doesn't look like it's gonna go anywhere. Um, so now I'm just gonna release it. There are some few straggler zip ties. Again, it's gonna help if you have somebody else with you. I can release these now. I didn't actually tie them on there. So you can release these just so it looks nicer. Um, I think I did this one wrong so I can cut it off. But just to help me kind of guide me where stuff needed to go, I had these on here. But we'll take those off. When you're doing this and you know the first few times it was really hard it's definitely going to take a lot of attempts um, but practice makes perfect so if you don't get it the first time you know take a breather 
come back at another time people will walk by and think that you're like being weird but it does look great um but i'll show you the final i can kind of want to take some shears and just like cut these little tiny guys away just so it looks more uniform um, and the braid looks tighter and then i'll show you just what it looks like um, when i release the rope okay so i removed the rope and nothing happened um as you can see it's still standing up straight um, it doesn't seem like it's going to go anywhere. I floofed it just a little bit. I really love it. It's great. People walking just by said, you know, it's definitely an eye catcher. Um, it kind of looks like it's its own pot. Like, it's holding itself up. I think if I even removed the tie in the back, it would still support itself. It's... It looks great from a distance too when you're walking up on it. Um, I did cut away some of the flyaways still at the bottom. As you can see, just a few. Just so it looks more uniform. I really wanted it to come up top. But yeah, it it's really now, it looks like a piece of art. Um, I'm really excited to see what it looks like. Only when the grasses start changing colors and the tips start yellowing and it goes brown. Again, just remember my tips. I would definitely start this a little bit earlier than I did. Um, having another person there definitely helps, um, but I'm really excited about the end result. I think it looks great. Um, since people were interested in how to do this, I don't know how much help it will be. Again, I'll keep adding the images that I mentioned, just a basic concept of braiding. Um, and let me tell you, mine is very basic. Will help you do this. Patience, trial and error, um, stepping back and just taking a breath really helps. Definitely wear long sleeves, definitely wear gloves when you're doing this, especially with any type of grass. Um, sedges have edges too. So yeah, I hope you guys like it. Thank you.